Okay, we're here in the Excel workbook and what we're gonna talk about today are several different parts that we can use a pivot table for. Now, on the left-hand side here, we have our different subtopics. Now, we're gonna firstly create a pivot table, then we're gonna format it, then we're gonna use the values by calculation, then we're gonna use the values as calculation, then we're gonna group, then we're gonna insert some slices and charts. Then from that, we're gonna create a cool interactive dashboard. And finally, I wanna end with just a few time-saving and cool tips. Okay, so let's get started with creating a pivot table. So let's go in here in our data source. So usually, normally, what we get from our ERP systems at work when we get different downloads, we get lots of transactional data, as you can see here. Okay, it goes all the way down. It could be you know many rows of data. With a pivot table, you've got up to a million rows of data that you can use. Okay, now normally we have it in this format here, which is called a tabular format. So our data has to have a unique column heading, like we have products there. And then at the bottom, have our different products. The same thing for salesperson. That's the unique column heading. And then have the different salespeople all the way down here, okay? So this is a tabular format. Now, one thing you gotta make sure is when you have a date, for example here, make sure that it's in form that's formatted in a date format, okay? So to do that, you can just click on there and from in here, just go to short date. Now, when you have values like we have here, also make sure that we have values in there and there are no text cells, okay? So just make sure that each column pertains to the information that it has to have, okay? so. An important thing is we have a blank column down here, okay? Now, to do a pivot table, it's not gonna work. We're gonna make sure that there are no blank columns or rows. So if you have something like this, just highlight it, right click and delete it. The same thing here, you can see we have a blank row. Right click and delete, okay? So just make sure that before you start that your data is set up properly like we have here. Now another thing is you should always use Excel tables. Now Excel tables are fabulous. I use them all the time. It doesn't matter if you have a million rows of data or you just have three lines of data. Always use Excel tables because they're gonna help you when you refresh and update your pivot tables with more data and also it has some other cool functions and that's just another topic but I'll show you just what I mean. Okay, so to create a Excel table, you just click in there and you can press insert and table. Okay, another thing is a shortcut, control T. Control T. And what it does, it, it knows that your data is all the way down there. And also it's always good just to make sure, okay? For example, here we have a total there. We don't want that total there, okay? So just make sure that we go all the way to 577 and then press OK. All right, I'm just gonna clear that. So this is the table. And let me just move that here. We know there's a table is because when we get out of it, we don't get this pop-up tool tab up here. When we click in it, we have these table tools. As you can see there, we've got different designs, okay? So that's another cool thing. We've got different designs there. Another thing is when you scroll down, just have a look now. When I scroll down, the column headings stay there. That doesn't happen with uh, a non-Excel table. So that's another cool feature. The best feature for me is, let me press control down, or the control and the down arrow key all the way down here. What we can do now is when we're in the table, we get these table tools, as I said before, if we're out of it, we can't do anything. So we're gonna go back into it. Okay, now the total row, this is the best function. What it does is, 
it gives you a total you probably can't see it here let me make it a bit bigger okay all right so it gives you formulas in there so you can actually sum the whole row okay it just automatically sums it or you can count it it gives you how many transactional rows of data we have there and also we can do an average okay so that's the best bit about it okay now to add a row you just right click in there and go to insert okay or you can go all the way to the end here and just press the tab key or you can also if you can see here on the corner see how it's changed there you can also drag it down so you can add information there okay so always use excel tables okay so let me just make this a little bit smaller so now we have our excel table let's insert a pivot table 